Hey there, Cherie here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to work on a very quick and easy quilt top using this gorgeous fat quarter bundle from the Cafe Facet August 2023 collection. This is the cool colorway and includes 18 fat quarters. Let's get started. Okay, so let's have a little look at what we're going to work on today. As I said, I am going to play around with this Cave Facet August 2023 Fat Quarter Bundle. Um, I got an early release of it. So this bundle had 18, um, actually 19 different Fat Quarters in it. It has 18 that are kind of, you know, basically read as florals. And then it has this one uh, kind of plaid print. So this plaid print is the only one I'm not going to use in this project. It's going to be used in a separate project, which I will share either as a bonus on here or in a separate video. But I'm going to put this one aside for now. And then I've pulled this Cave Facet Shot Cotton. This colorway is Air Force. And it's just a wonderful blue to incorporate and pick up the different hues of blue that are throughout these fabrics, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take each of these fat quarters and I'm gonna go ahead and iron them all, ironing out all these different seams. And then I'm going to cut off the salvage edge. And I wanna make sure that they are all the same size. And so depending on how deep the salvage edge is, I'm gonna line them up along the uh, raw edges. And I just am gonna cut them down to size so that they're all the same size. And so I will measure uh, what they might end up being. Probably will take off about an inch. Yeah, I'll take off an inch. I just want them to be all the same size in the end, okay? So let me go get these pressed. And as we work through these, you'll get to see all 18 lovely prints. Okay, friends, so I got them all ironed. And I'll just flip through quickly so you can see the prints that we are dealing with from this fat quarter bundle. And then I'm going to sort them. And what I'm going to do is use, I think I'm going to do three prints across and then six down but I'm going to get out my little sketchbook and my calculator to figure out um, what those dimensions will end up being like to see if that's what I want to do right but look at these prints they are just fun and beautiful okay so I've done a little math and I've decided to cut these uh, five quarters down so that they are measuring 20 inches wide by 18 inches long. So I'm going to do that for all 18 back quarters. Okay, so I've gotten all the fabric, uh, the fat quarters trimmed down to 18 by 20 inches, and I've sorted them into piles. I'm going to do five rows. Three rows are going to have four prints. Two rows are going to have three prints. That's the layout that I came up with that is going to give me um, the kind of dimensions that I want to have for the final quilt. And so now what I need to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut the piecing strips. And so um, some of the rows are going to have five and a half inch strips between the blocks. And then other rows are only going to have one and a half inch strips that I need to cut to go between those blocks. And so I'm going to get these cut and I'm going to start the piecing. And I will say the piecing is going to be very similar to another a uh, project that I've already shared on the channel. I will link to that in the description box and I will put an iCard, but I will also show you how to sew 
one of the rows as well, step by step here, okay? So let me get this cut and then we're gonna start sewing. Okay, so we'll do a quick demo with this one stack here. So this is a row that's going to have three of these blocks going across. So you wanna make sure that you have it um, you know, in the right direction. So 18 inches is going to be the length and then 20 inches is going to be the width. So we're going to be attaching the, um, the solid color five and a half inch strip along the length, okay? So with the shot cottons, the right side is facing out. So um, that's just how the manufacturer loads it onto the bolt. They, you know, it really doesn't matter, but the right side is technically facing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this here along this edge. And I'm not going to cut it until after I sew it, okay? So let's get this pinned in place. And we're going to do all of our seams with a quarter inch seam allowance. And actually, let me lift this a little bit up. I want to not catch that salvage at the top. So I'm going to waste a little bit there and just make sure that I don't have any salvage uh, sewn in there. So we'll put some pins in place. And we will go and sew this straight down the side, quarter inch. I'm going to come back here. I'll cut off the extra, and then this extra segment will be pinned to um, the next uh, panel, the next piece as we join. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this, and I'll do that. And I just want to show you guys real quick. This is the thread I'm going to use. So it's one of those variegated threads that I love. And uh, yeah, it's gonna pick up a couple different hues and tones of the blue that's gonna be throughout the uh, quilt. And I'm gonna use this for all the piecing as well as the quilting. So I'm just stitching the second section of blue, solid blue onto this first print. Don't be like me and sew over your needle. Make sure you take your needles out first so you don't mess up your machine, break your needle, etc. Okay? Okay, so I have gotten my rows all stitched together. Now I have to go to the ironing board and get all these seams ironed open. But let's just have a quick look at um, what's going on here. So I have a couple of rows where I have these five and a half strip, uh, five and a half inch strips sewn between the uh, fabric blocks. And then I have three that only have one inch strips between them. So I'm gonna go to the iron and I'm going to press out these seams. I'm not gonna press them open on the uh, one inch ones because they're just gonna overlap. Well, maybe I will. I press the seams open like that. So I'm gonna press the seams open on all of them. Get those, um, iron down, press down rather. Then I'm gonna come in with my straight edge ruler and just snip off the excess that's on the edges. And then the next step is going to be to um, start attaching these rows together, again, using the solid fabric as um, strip piecing. Okay. okay, so I got the stitching done and I'm realizing that I accidentally didn't record. So I just want to go over to be really clear before we move on what I did. So I had three rows that have four of the fat quarters. And whenever I'm using the four fat quarters, that's what I'm using 
the one and a half inch wide sashing. When I did the rows, I have two rows, I only have three. So in order to compensate for the missing fat quarter, I'm making the um, sashing piece uh, wider. So that's where I'm using the five and a half inch uh, solid color fabric. So I'm making five rows total, three are the same and then two are the same. But you'll see it in the final layout. And when I do part two of this video, I will do a recap so it's really clear um, if anyone wants to try this. It's really simple, but I just want to make sure that, you know, it's really clear what I did. So my apologies about that. Friends, so I got those tiers sewn together. All um, tiers, again, are sewn together with the same width of the shot cotton uh, fabric. So that looks really uniform. Um, and as I went across the rows, um, that's where I differentiated in the width, where I had fewer fat quarters, I used a wider width to join the fat quarters. But we'll go upstairs. I'm going to lay this out on the floor so you can see uh, the whole quilt top. Um, I have something else on my quilt wall right now. All right, so I wanted to try to lay her out so you can see what she looks like all done. Um, well, she's not all done, but I need to go in and square this off, trim off the excess on the sides and um, get everything ironed. And then I'm going to select the quilt backing. I'm deciding between two prints. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that in part two. So again, here's what it looks like so far. Again, I'm gonna get this up on my quilt wall after it's all pressed. And then in part two, you'll see a nice view of it before I do the quilting and the binding and then I'll show you what I decide to do. I have a couple ideas that I want for the backing. So I will share that with you. But anyway, just wanted to show you a really quick way to play with fat quarters to make a really easy uh, quilt top. All right, friends, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial. Um, I will be back again, like I said, in part two for sharing with you how I finished this quilt top up. Uh, just for your reference now, in case you want to try something like this, my finished quilt top dimensions are 87 inches wide by 92 inches long. So I'm actually going to go take this on my guest room bed, lay it out. I'm going to see if I want to add anything to the sides or if this is a good dimension to go ahead and do the quilting and binding. So you'll hear all about that in part two. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. I'll see you back here soon.